welcome back to the Disney Housewife. I have a very fun haul for you today. My family took a fun New York City trip for the very first time and I brought home quite a few things. I was gonna break it down into categories because we went to the Harry Potter store, but I decided to just make this one video. Let's just go ahead and get started because we have so many wonderful things to share with you. Right off the bat, I wanted to show you this t-shirt. Um, I have wanted one of these t-shirts for years. I'm talking back in the early 90s. I have wanted one of these shirts. I have wanted one to sleep in with some sweats or something and then I've wanted one for everyday wear. Um, and I was kind of hesitant on what sizes to get so I did get an extra large as you can see. It is really too big for me but I was scared it was going to shrink so I did go up a size and um, we'll see how it does after the wash, but I just did one for now and if it does okay Then I'll know what to get on the next trip and then I'll just use this one as a nightshirt or something So that is the first thing that we got but I also got one for Michaela Now Damon does have a shirt and I have no idea where it is if it's in here somewhere. I will show you uh, he had it out, well, I had it out for him to look at in the hotel, and then I don't know where it went after that. So it either got put in one of these bags or it's in the laundry. Um, but I did get Michaela one too, and I got hers in this really cute light baby pink, and it's so cute. Um, these ran $21.99 each, and it's funny because the exact same store, there's like a list of the stores on the side of the bag. There's so many of those stores in Times Square in that little area. The first one we went to, these same shirts were $24.99. And then when I went to a different store, they were $21.99, which I thought was crazy. I assumed they were all owned by the same people. Um, but anyway, we both got kind of matching shirts. Damon got one that was really, really special, so I do hope it is in here somewhere. Keeping the theme with the NYC stuff, uh, Michaela did pick up taxi cars. She got this one and she got another one. I think it had red or blue at the top. I think it was red. I'm not sure. She was playing with it in the car and I think it, it's either still in the car or it's in the room. But how cute is that? I love the, the vintage style taxis. I think they're great. So she got a couple of those and these are the ones that you like pull back and then they zoom on their own. So both of them did that. This one was $14.99 and oddly enough, the other one that she got was in that first store where the shirts were higher. That car was $19.99. So clearly this store that I went to last will be the one that I get souvenirs from uh, because it was a significant savings, especially with the cars. There's no way they should be $20. The next thing I picked up was this cute little coin purse. It's just, um, I don't know, like faux leathery feel to it. This one was $8.99. It's really cute. It's got a lot of the NYC symbols on there. Um, Empire State Building, the taxi symbol, and a taxi. It's not really clear at the moment. Um, Statue of Liberty. It's just really cute. And then there's an apple. Just a couple of little cute things on there. Um, and then the flag is on there on this side too. Oh, it's on both sides. And then a little Cosmo. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't even see that. Anyway, I thought it was super cute. I don't know if it has any special lining. Nope, just plain black lining. I thought that was adorable. I, I love little pouchy purses and stuff, so it was a win for me. I love big stickers. I sometimes like to put them on my laptop. I haven't done that with the new laptop. Um, so I don't know if I'll do that with these, but I did get quite a few stickers on the trip. And the first one was a New York City taxi sticker. Actually looks like a magnet, but it isn't. It is a sticker. I just loved it with the, the blacked out cityscape behind it. This was $6.99. Don't know if I'll share prices on everything because um, not everything may have a price on it. So I picked up my friend um, who lives by me, a ornament. And this is a big apple ornament for $12.99. It's so cute. It's just an apple with New York on there and the Statue of Liberty. And then there's the bridge there. It's really cute, simple, but it's just like a little memento of us being there. I asked her what she wanted me to pick up and she never did tell me, so I'm like, you're getting an ornament. 
and you're getting a cheesy one because it's so cute. <laughs> Don't worry, I got a cheesy one for myself and I'm getting ready to show you that in just a second. Again, that was $12.99, which I didn't feel like was too bad. So here is the ornament that we chose. Um, and it, I'll just leave it in the box because I'm going to spill all of this uh, styrofoam stuff and Damon just vacuumed. But it's this really cute Statue of Liberty. Let's see if I can get her in there closer. There she is. And she's got I Love NY bag there and it's full of different things. Um, it's got all of the cities in there. And then it's got some garland around the trim and uh, a red bow and she's got a santa hat on i never noticed that before uh instead of her crown she's got a santa's hat so that's really adorable and i don't really love the it's not a clip the little loop that it has on there for your keychain but i did get two personalized keychains for the license plates this one is michaela's if it'll focus. It was trying to pick up everything. It was trying to pick up the heart and so that's Michaela's. And then here is mine. And this side has some New York scenery on it. They're really cute. They're really tiny so they're not gonna be super heavy on you know our keys. But the way this is made, I'm just gonna have to take that off and connect it from here um i don't know it may work it just feels a little flimsy but they were cute and i think that these were 5.99 each i might be wrong on that i love to play cards and when i saw these i knew that we had to have them and these were 10.99 which is a little excessive for a playing card set but these are so pretty they have all of like the broadway uh logos marquees whatever they're called they have all of those on the cards and I will open this up to show you just like a sample of them really quick I had to open that up at the bottom but they have some really old ones on here I just thought it was neat so here is what the back of those look like I love how they have them all kind of smushed in here but then they have uh, Monty Python's spam a lot and Bernadette Peters in Gypsy, uh, Little Shop of Horrors, and Boeing Boeing, a nonstop comedy, um, Phantom of the Opera, which I absolutely love, South Pacific, Hairspray, and Chorus Line, um, West Side Story, and The Wedding Singer, which I love both of those, uh, Driving Miss Daisy, and Memphis. Uh, the Producers and The Merchant of Venice, Fiddler on the Roof, and I don't know what that says. It's like a neon stuff. I can't really see that. Let's see. Mamma Mia, Sister Act, which I loved, uh, The Book of Mormon. So it's got some old stuff, and then it's got some really current things. Dracula, Memphis, Wicked, 9 to 5, um... Look, they even had a Beauty and the Beast one in there. How cool is that? The Adams Family, Mary Poppins, um, The Lion King. Um, back to the other ones. They repeat. There's two of each one, I do believe. Um, but I don't know. I just thought it was awesome and super excited to play these or to play with these. I have a few more things from that specific store and this is a magnet and I am obsessed with it because it is framed. Look how pretty this is. I love it. It was $6.99 and I don't know. I just loved it. Um, I know you guys haven't seen my refrigerator or if you have in a cooking video or a at home with me kind of video. I have photos framed in black frames on our fridge. So when I saw this, I said, this totally fits what I do in our kitchen and I had to have that. So that is super cute. We have the Times Square, Chrysler Building, and the Statue of Liberty. And we did get several pins on this trip and I got some in the hotel and I have no idea where they are. Um, maybe they're in here somewhere, <laughs> I'll find them. But our hotel had a gift shop, so I bought a couple of pins. But I saw these, and this one is the Fire Department of New York City. It's their emblem, which I thought was really, really nice. I apologize if 
either of these get blurry. Um, and then we have the NYPD, which I loved, and both of these were $5.99 each. That I found Damon's shirt. So let's go ahead and show that shirt first, and then we'll move on to the Starbucks bag. This is a amazing fire department New York shirt. This one was $28.99, but we got savings with the other ones and I just thought it was awesome. And I felt like he would like this so much more um, because he is a huge supporter of fire departments, all um, emergency services, police officers. He very much supported of that, supportive of that and military and everything. And I knew that he would prefer this shirt and I love it too. Kind of sad that I didn't get one. I wish I had, but there is always next time. Um, and uh, I did get this in navy blue if it's not coming. I think it's coming across that way. So we stayed in Jersey the night before. And the reason for that was to go to the original Carlos Bake Shop. The one that was in Cake Boss. We wanted to do that for years now. And uh, we finally did. It was amazing. But uh, let's see. Six cannolis. Two fruit tarts. Cheesecake. And a tiramisu cake was pretty much $90. So we won't do that again because we did find a bakery that was even better than Carlos Bake Shop. Sorry, had to say it. Still love it. It was great to go to. Um, but because we stayed in there, I did pick up a Starbucks mug for New Jersey. It's got a beautiful Robin's egg blue on the inside. And then it has um, like New Jersey there and all of their little things, Liberty and Prosperity, Delaware River, um, Northern Red Oak, Drive-In Theater. It's got like a Starbucks cup there. And then the Garden State. I didn't see it over on this side, but it's got casinos and like a postcard. It's casino stuff and a postcard. And then whatever that is down there. Oh, it's just like a front, um, like a little park bench in front of the oceans or water whatever water they have <laughs> so that's really cute and then they have the turnpike emblem right there we ran into more tolls in New Jersey than I can even count um, and New Jersey people are more rude and aggressive than people in NYC I'm just gonna put that out there but I got a Starbucks mug for there I did get one not for New York State but I did get one for New York City because that's what I was all about anyway and this one has got that light blue on it as well and then all of the wonderful sights of New York City the Washington Arch there and a hot dog which I didn't get I was so bummed that was on my list to get a hot dog pizza from a vendor you know all those little carts um, pretzel um, Chinese that's a whole nother story too so we're gonna have to do a live stream so here we go with all of these amazing things we've got Manhattan and then Queens is on this side we got a wonderful view of the Statue of Liberty um, from one of those little it's not telescope is it you know the little viewfinder things that you put your quarter in that was a that was a really fun time and I wa walked Washington Square Park by myself that was really cool um, they have a black and white cookie here, which I thought was really nice. That's, that's pretty cool. I keep saying pretty cool, and I'm so obnoxious at this point. I'll try to edit it out, but if I don't, just forgive me. There's pizza, credit cards, baseball, pretzel. There's a pretzel. That's so funny. And then uh, the little bird and bagel. I didn't get a bagel while I was up there either. Um, so that is my second Starbucks mug. And then my third Starbucks mug is from Pennsylvania because we left NYC and then we went straight over to Scranton, Pennsylvania. If you guys know, I'm a huge fan of The Office. Damon loves it too. So we went around to see a few of those sites there and it was, it was okay. It's not what I expected. The town was definitely, um, I would say a letdown after leaving NYC, but it had some charm to it. The next day I had acquired enough Starbucks points and I was able to get this mug for free. So this was great. I love, love, love this green on the inside. And then got some really beautiful green icons on the outside. And I didn't, I didn't realize this one was like that until I got it home. But apparently where it was on the counter, they had splashed coffee. So someone's coffee is on my mug and it'll have to be washed twice. <laughs> but 
coffee aside, it is a really pretty mug. Um, and Pennsylvania was a really pretty state. Uh, it took us a long time to get through compared to everywhere else, but it was awesome. I, I really enjoyed it. It was great to spend time traveling with my family. One last hoorah before Damon goes back to work. And that was, that was my Starbucks. I did get this little tote because I love reusable totes. Um, and because we spent $35 like over, we spent over double that, so we should, we should have gotten two. But if you spend $35, you got a free keychain. And it's this little metal die cut keychain of the icon of Buddy. Um, if I can get it open, I'll show you up close. So, here you go. It's really cute. It's pretty good quality. So, I told Damon he could have that because he really didn't pick out a whole lot. Yeah, there's still so much more to, to get. Okay, so the pins I got in the lobby of the hotel is one of the Subway. And these all have those little uh, pincher backs on them. So we have that one. We have the bull from the financial district. We didn't see that in person, but I thought it was really cool. And then we have the torch from the Statue of Liberty. I think all of those were $5 a piece. Um, and then I have a little taxi one. Super cute. Okay. We did go to the Harry Potter store, like I said. And um, it was fun. It really, really was fun. We had watched a few vlogs of people doing a walkthrough of that store. So Damon kind of had a mindset of what he wanted. And he wanted to get a Harry Potter wand. So he did pick out one. And he did pick out Harry's wand. So here is that signature, not signature, but the, the nameplate right there. And they package these really nice, these are high quality boxes. And they have this nice double lined tissue paper here. And then we have Harry's wand. This is a nice little felt over plastic, you know, um, case for it. They did have some really beautiful cases that you could like display them on but it, it was heavy and awkward and I'm like I'm not carrying that so I was gonna get it for him though but here's how cute that looks it's really nice it's pretty heavy too I don't know what I expected but I didn't expect it to have some weight to it so it was a really nice wand and if we ever make it to Universal Studios I will I'm sure that he will want one there um, just kind of cool to have certain things in your collection. I'm not big on spells or anything like that. Um, just I thought the designs of them were really cool and I know that that's all the purpose he wants with it too. So there is that. And then I got this set um, exclusive to New York. This little pink set of pins which I thought was so neat. And yeah right here it even says New York. So this will go on a New York pin board. I am by no means going to start a Harry Potter pin collection. That's just not happening. But these are on clearance. They were $15 and marked down to $7.50 and you cannot beat that. So that will just go on the NYC pin collection board. So um, my wonderful friend Nicole, uh, her sweet girl Belle, which I'm sure you guys all know, loves Fantastic Beasts. And this is one that she was looking for. What is this thing called again? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, so forgive me, but she was missing this color and I was able to find it. Isn't he the cutest? I actually got one for Michaela. Tag's already off of this one. Um, super, super cute. These are only like 20 bucks and they're absolutely precious. Again, I don't know what they are, but they're cute. So I did pick that up for her this over here got her a bag too so she could have a nice little bag and then I also got her this really cute pen I do not know the original price on it but it was on clearance too for $2.40 um, and it is a fantastic beast pen a lot of detail and writing in that I thought it was so neat so of course I couldn't pass that up for her it's really cool again I know nothing about it but when I saw it I was like I have to get this for her so I was happy to pick that stuff up. 
um, for Nicole's daughter. And then we went to the American Museum of Natural History. It was so much fun. Um, I could have probably stayed a little longer in there. We missed the planetarium. We missed a few things, but we saw th what we wanted to see. Michaela had a great time seeing all of the animals and such. My favorite thing was this gigantic wood slice. I don't know if I remember. I'll post a picture in here if I remember to do that. Um, this wood slice was massive and I can't remember how many years old it was. It had a timeline from when it was like first started or started growing to like when they cut it. Incredible. It was incredible. It was, it was huge. So, um, that was probably my favorite part. Ooh, another receipt for fetch. Uh, and of course I got some pins and I love this. I'm going to keep this on the pin board. Um, kind of like in the center. I'm going to find a nice little felt uh, push pin from the Dollar Tree. They've got blue velvet ones, so I'm going to do that, I think. But I'm going to put it in here to keep it on as the centerpiece. This was $16.99. Um, and it just has New York City for the Big Apple, Slice of Pizza, Empire State Building, the museum that we went to, and the Statue of Liberty. But I love the, the backer card on this so much. Um, so that was a lot of fun to grab and then I did pick up is that? Ooh, more receipts did pick up this cute little ornament look how precious this is I don't know what you are you somebody but you're cute um, and this was $23 absolutely precious with the Santa hat and all of these little uh, vintage looking lights on them strand of lights I love that it's got pink lights on it too that's really cute that was a lot of fun Damon wanted a paleontology rocks shirt but we couldn't find anything like that so I'll probably just have to make him one it's probably what I'll have to do so um, that is all from there and then we went to the New York Public Library and <laughs> my bag is so danged, you guys. We were packed in that car like the Beverly Hillbilly, so I am just so blessed that nothing was broken. <laughs> the first thing I purchased in the, the library is a set of these vintage stickers in uh, this 10. This was $15. I have not opened it yet, so I think I want to do that. Maybe. Here is how nice that tin is up close. It's hinged, which I love even more. And then, ooh, those are nicely packaged. I feel like there's gonna be enough to share in here. Slide this little, oh, no, I'm just gonna undo it. So here is the first sheet. These are really nice. Oh, I was right. There are some to share. Ooh, I love this. This looks like vintage postcards. These are so great. Oh man, I was thinking like um, of putting like a little um, thing. I didn't decorate the planner for that week, so that would be really cute to put something in there for that week. Here's the set, like a little sales Bronx Zoo, the Plaza, World's Fair, New York City, New York, and the Waldorf Waldorf Historia on Park Avenue. Got two sheets. All of them have two sheets. Here's this one. This is really nice. These are really, really cool. And they're on like a thicker cardstock too, which feels nice. They almost remind me of the old um, library catalog cards. That's what the paper feels like. This one's nice too. Good for one fare. So subway tokens and then the different um, stops on the subway. There's some like little maps. Oh my gosh, that is so neat. Bleecker Street. I keep looking to see if I'll find our street where we stayed. Loving that Manhattan sticker. Ooh, this one's cool too. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying, ooh, this is cute. This is cool. <laughs> uh, I've got issues. Ooh, Radio City and Rockefeller Center. We saw that multiple times. We didn't stay too far from there. This one's nice too. And Empire State Building. 
this is cute. This is our last set. That is really awesome. That was a great deal. I wasn't sure like the size of them and the quality of them, but I feel like that was a good deal. I mean, you could see them on the back, but I didn't know like some of them are nice size, so that was a great purchase. And then an idea I had was to um, write down all of the things that we did that we loved and would want to do again and things we missed. Just put like a little notebook together. I can also use the stickers in here to make this almost a memory book, but I got this nice journaling notebook. It has the little strip on the side and it was $12. It is lined, I can tell right here on the side, but Times Square, baby, Times Square. Spent a lot of time there and loved it. And then Michaela loves um, like baseballs, any kind of ball she really, really loves. So I picked this up for her. She saw it and wanted it. Um, she didn't really want much. So I was like, yes, baby, if you want a baseball. So I picked it up. Damon took her out of the shop because it was so hot. Um, but this little ball was $10, which is fine. I mean, I've paid more for Disney stuff before, but it's nice. It's got a lot of different things on there. Midtown, Ellis Island, Soho. Um, St. Patrick's Cathedral, American Museum of Natural History, Fifth Avenue, the Met. We didn't see the Met while we were there either. So I think there's a lot of things that we missed, but it was really neat. Um, so that'll be fun for her to play with. And then I'm doing a book advent with my friend that lives uh, right down the street here for Christmas. And I picked up this really pretty... Um, New York Public Library bookmark and it is a metal one with a black um, tassel on it. It's so pretty. These were 12. I've got two of them. Uh, really nice and it uh, talks a little bit on the back about when it opened and um, the buildings and exterior ornamentation reflects one of the greatest artistic collaborations of its era and every intricate classical detail was hand carved by crafts craftsmen trained in the old world techniques oh our book map can't even talk our bookmark is solid brass electroplated with non-tarnishing silver finish well how cool is that um, but yeah for over 100 years that opened in 1911 i don't think i knew that but you just the architecture in the city is is exquisite let me just tell you that and then you know as if i didn't buy enough mugs I will be sharing this with um, Damon, but they even have their own tissue paper stamped. I don't know if you can see that. But they're barely showing for you guys, but I got this little simple, the New York Public Library established 1895. So that's so pretty. And this was $15, but like I said, I'm going to share this with Damon. I mean, he's free to drink out of any of them. We share, seeing if I could get a close-up of this paper. But it says um, the New York Public Library everywhere, and then the little round emblem is the, the lion head emblem. I don't think it's going to show. That's pretty nifty. Save that and reuse it. So yeah, that was a beautiful cup. I loved, I loved the big handle, and you guys know me with mugs, so my heart is happy. <laughs> so that is it from the library, and our last haul was from FAO Schwartz, which was like the top of the list of the things I wanted to go to, uh, places that I wanted to go to. And so um, I have a few things to share with you. And thank you so much if you've watched all of this so far. Give yourself a big round of applause. Uh, and I'm just going to keep going. I did get Michaela a couple of things here. Mostly her. I think I got one thing. Yeah, I got one thing for the family. Um, but I got her this board book and it says, Good Night, New York. And I did read this to her because it's so, so cute. It goes around talking, saying good morning, Staten Island Ferry. Are we ready for a wonderful day? And it just talks about so many different things in the city. Um, and then it shows everyone in their beautiful homes. I loved it. I thought it was a great thing to gift to her. 
And then this one is going to be in her Easter basket. Uh, this is Little Kid Big City. Pick your own path through the Big Apple. Oh, that was really neat. <clears throat> Inside this gorgeous vibrant yellow. Um, but there's the Brooklyn Bridge. And I think, yeah, talks about the pizzerias. Subway, Central Park to do. Is that right? Oh, Prospect Park, excuse me, in Brooklyn, excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, Coney Island. So it, it goes around not just um, NYC, but like it covers things from the whole state, which is awesome. Um, Chinatown, which we didn't make it to. Little Italy, still didn't make that either. Um, whoa, where was this? New York's favorite literary nook, The Strand, is home to over 18 miles of books and counting. You can literally get lost in the stacks of The Strand, a legendary destination for an amazing collection of new used and rare books. There's over two and a half million for sale. From children's classic titles to the latest releases and even a whole floor dedicated to rare and first edition, The Strand is a book lover's dream. Want to hear a story? The kids' story time sessions are often visited by costumed characters. What book character would you like to meet in person? Um, and then it says, make tracks. The subway gets you around fast. Turn to page 50. So you can skip different pages and stuff. This is pretty cool. Um, and then there's Times Square. So I can't wait for her to see this book. I got her this cute little cup and it's a uh, little turvis. And it's got all of these little uh, things for the their branding on there. And we met the nicest guy outside. He was the little soldier outside. He was so incredible, so sweet. Took pictures with Michaela and I don't know. It was just a fun time. We got to see all kinds of Barbie stuff and it was just a great day going to that store. And then I got our family um, the big giant piano magnet to go. On. Oh wait, let me see, does it have a price? I don't think this did have a price. Ah, let me find it here. Um, what? Two layer, no, that's not it. Um, it was $18. FAO Toys 10 ounce tumbler. Um, they charged me $1.50 for the bag. Everywhere we went, where we got a bag, we had to pay for it, even the paper ones, which I thought was weird. Apparently it's a tax there or something. You have to pay for bags. Um, I did get a hand sanitizer. The magnet was $10. It was really cute. We saw people um, getting on it and playing it. You had to take your shoes off. Um, I didn't want to do that. So I didn't get on the piano. I asked if Michaela's wheelchair could roll across it for her to have that experience. They said no, I was fine with it. We went about our day. <laughs> We had a fantastic time. Okay, so the last item from all of the New York area is this beautiful glass FAO Shorts City Taxi ornament with the beautiful bear driving. Isn't that so pretty? I was trying to see if it said anything on the back. Celebrate this holiday season. Return to wonder. We saw at Target they had a lot of their toy... Uh, logo on stuff. Damon actually got me. Was it Uno? He got me Uno with the this branding on it, which I thought was amazing. I pretty much almost cried because he knows how much I love FAO shorts. Um, just because I only have a few things left to share, I'm going to pull this ornament out and let you guys see it because it's so pretty. They had one out on the shelf, and I was like sold. So you have the piano around the edge of the car, and then the bear. Isn't it so cute? And then on the back, NYC and packages. I love that he's got the little um, soldier outfit on. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, we're down to the last two things to share with you. Um, when we were in Scranton for the office, they really didn't have anything that you couldn't buy online. They did have some rare Funkos. I'm just not buying those right now. So I didn't pick any of those up. They had a few like framed photos of 
um, gym, like Asian gym, when they did the photo um, and tried to trick Dwight. So they had framed photos of that. They had framed little posters, desktop ones for Threat Level Midnight. Um, they had a few things that, eh, okay, but it, it just nothing really jumped out at me that I had to have it. So, um, the one thing I did get was, um, this was for free and I thought that was really cool. It was at the checkout. It has a lot of the little locations. We did not go to the Dwight mural. It was really rainy and we were kind of tired and just wanted to chill in the hotel, but we did make it to quite a few of the, um, the, the spots and like I said I hate that I missed the mural but we were just kind of done um, but it's a walking self-guided tour so you can just pick up a map for free at Cooper Seafood Restaurant and I'm sure they have them at other locations as well but um, you can go around and you can walk at all the sites they're all marked and they tell you a little bit about what episode they were in which I thought was nice so Alfredo's Pizza Cafe 1040 South Washington Street tells you what episodes season 4 episodes 1 and 3 season 6 episode 15 Poor Richard's Pub we went to those two places we actually ate at Alfredo's Pizza Cafe so that was awesome and then they also had stuff that was not on the map over here really overwhelming but we did what we wanted to do um, like I said, it just was not, was not what I expected after all of the glitz and the glam of the big city, but it was great. I don't want to put it down. <laughs> um, so the things that I did purchase, one of them was this really cute office little golden book. I hadn't seen this one before and I'm pretty sure counting with office supplies. So it's just a counting book, but it's, it's totally fine. Um, I know that she'll love it. One paper clip jamming the copier. Don't worry, Pam knows how to fix it. You're not helping, Dwight. <laughs> so, I mean, it's so cute. And just seeing their pictures, um, it is a pop book. So they're in pop, Funko Pop form. <laughs> I love it. It's great. So, three colorful folders. Michael just can't decide. He's always holding up things, isn't he? So, love this. Excited to give her that. Um, that's going in her Easter goodies as well and then for me I got a sticker uh, I don't know how much the book was it says $5.99 on the back let's just go with that we'll see <laughs> um but for me I got a sticker for $4.99 and it is the finer things club it has a book with tea and flowers and it has Scranton PA established 2007 so I was happy to get this. This is the only thing that really called to me that I needed it because it was something that I had not seen online. It probably is. I just hadn't seen it. So, um, yeah, anything else I could have purchased. So that is it for our massive NYC haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was that I picked out. And if you, um, have a good date and time that you would like to see us do the live stream, to share our experience as first time Manhattan uh, tourists, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's it, sadly. And I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I'm sorry that I haven't had a video up in a while, but I hope to get back to at least one video a week and get that a little bit more regular. So I appreciate you guys so much for your understanding and I'll be back here to talk to you soon. Bye.